For the first time ever in Canada, two patients with severely impaired vision have received bionic eyes. The breakthrough treatment doesn't restore sight, but does allow the patient to once again perceive light. One of the doctors who performed the procedure calls it astounding. We had a gentleman who was just operated on uh, about uh, three or four weeks ago, and within a week of him starting to use his glasses, he was able to navigate in his own home for the first time, he says, in 20 years. As soon as he put his glasses on, he said he had hand-eye coordination for the first time in 30 years. So the simple explanation here is that a patient is outfitted with a pair of glasses that have a built-in video camera, while a prosthesis the size of a pencil eraser is surgically implanted onto the retina. Information from the camera is transmitted to electrodes in that implant and converted first to electrical pulses. Those pulses are turned into images. Joining us from downtown Toronto is one of the recipients of the so-called bionic eye, Orly Shamir. Orly, great to have you on the program. What are these bionic eyes like? Well, so far, it's a uh, work in progress. I'm in the midst of, uh, of rehab, and honestly, after surgery and recovery, it's like going back to childhood, where I'm given homework and I get, have an easel that's black on one side, white on the other side, and I'm training my brain to recognize this kind of input, this kind of new language, to recognize the white shapes on a black background or vice versa. What difference has it made that you've noticed so far? I know it's gonna be a process here, but what can you tell us about uh, some initial things that you've picked up on? Uh, so far, they uh, presented me with a, a, war a board that had black and white stripes, and I was able to see the um, perimeter of the board, the shape, and then all the stripes. And also one thing that honestly only two weeks ago uh, was very exciting for me is that all the testing that they did back in May prior for, uh, to me going for the, the surgery uh, I was not able to detect a square on a computer screen or movement and they repeated they have to repeat this test every three months and I was able to detect and find the square on the screen because it kept moving and also I was able to see movement of of a line in different directions and to me that's a big thing because before I have light perception but I can't tell you any more than that and now mm. I was able to find this and it was very for me it was very emotional because before I could not see any of it and now I can and my my, my ongoing joke now is that since I was able to see these uh, black and white stripes my next task is to go to the Toronto Zoo and find hmm. zebras. Absolutely. So I have to go find a zebra. <laughs> right, right. So and what was that like? You said it was emotional, uh, which it had to be for you. What goes through your mind when you realize there's the square and I can see it? Um, I had some a bit of residual vision as a child. And now for the last 10 to 15 years, I haven't had that kind of, of ability to see anything. Hmm. Um, it was... It's, it's incredible. I'm, I'm so fortunate to be the first in Canada, and I'm so fortunate uh, to have this opportunity. And even though now it's still at the beginning stages, I know moving forward, there's so much advancements, especially with technology, that uh, I'm really excited to, for what's to come. Orly Shamir, one of the first patients to get these bionic eyes. Thanks so much for Thanks. coming on the program, Orly, Thank and talking to us. Thank you for having me. And all the best with your uh, recovery. I appreciate that. We hope there's great things ahead. There will be for everybody. Absolutely.